Hey guys, welcome back to the MBTX Living Channel. My name is Chase Bradley. I'm Veronica Bradley. And today we're going to talk about the best parks in New Braunfels, Texas. So whether you like fishing, swimming, hiking, walking your dog, riding a bike, doing anything like that, there's a park in New Braunfels that has what you're looking for. And we're gonna talk about it here today. With number one, Landa Park. We love Landa Park. It's one of our favorite parks. It's one of the parks here in New Braunfels that has a lot of history, a lot of heritage. I love the trees. I love that it's close to the river, the springs. Um, I just, the train, there's so much to do there. I feel like for me, it is one of the most scenic parks. It's very much. In New Braunfels. Like she was saying, there's so <laughs> much history there, whether it's the Founders Oak, whether it's just the different historical plaques that are in the area, the monument, there is so much going on at Landa Park. That's why for me, it's one of my favorite parks. And you can't forget about Panther Canyon, which is a, a hiking trail that we love to hike. Um, the dogs, well, not the dachshund, but <laughs> the boxer loves to hike with us. Um, it's just a great little hiking trail, get some exercise in, uh, explore nature, see the wildlife. Although, do not feed the wildlife. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had an experience with a squirrel and this, I, I swore, there's there's the same squirrel that would come to me every time I go to the park, and it was the same squirrel. He'd come up, to, or she came up to me, and of course I would feed it like seeds, and you're not supposed to do that, but it stole my larbar, and I chased the squirrel up a tree, and it, obviously it won, but yeah, just don't feed this the animals. I learned the hard way. That's all right, guys. Don't <laughs> feed the animals. Leave the wildlife alone. Admire them from a distance. Number two, let's talk about Fisher Park. Fisher Park is the largest park in New Braunfels at over 60 acres. It's a pretty decent sized park. There's a lot of different walking trails. You can ride your bike on them, skateboard, rollerblade, do any of those kind of things. But the thing I really, really like about it is the two stocked fishing ponds that they have. Yeah, so those fishing ponds, I mean, you're not gonna, I mean, I don't know what the biggest fish you can catch there, but it's, it's cool. We see people fish out there, you can kayak out there. Um, there's also a butterfly garden, a lot of things to do. One of the things I like about Fisher Park, if you're looking for smooth pavement, um, you, as you mentioned before, you can rollerblade, walk, ride your bike. It's going to be a sm push your stroller. It's going to be a smooth ride. It's not going to be a bumpy ride. Um, the hills can be pretty intense. Yeah. Um, they have bikes with gears on them, and I have a beach cruiser. <laughs> I got the beach cruiser because it was cute. It had a basket. It's blue, like teal. But going up those hills, I'm struggling. It's only gonna make me stronger, but like I need, I need a bike with gears because it is hilly, but it's a smooth path. Yeah. And additionally, if you want to learn a little bit about archaeological dig site, they have a little mock set up there. It's just sand. Your kids can get in there, play, but they have like little, you know, fossils hidden underneath the sand where they could dig it up. It's really, you know, exciting for the kids and we always see kids over there. Number three, we're talking about the Prince Psalms Park. It's over 19 acres. It's a wide open space. And what do you like to do in wide open spaces? Play disc golf. That's right. They have a nine hole disc golf course there. It's really cool. We saw people there where we were trying to get some footage of the area. They also have a Veterans Memorial, which is very nice. And what else do they have that's just so popular here in New Braunfels? What else do they have there? Well, of course, it's the Tube Chute, which <laughs> is very well known here in New Braunfels, um, where you can go down this fun little chute and have a blast in our Comal River. It's just one of the highlights of New Braunfels. Everyone, we're known for that. If you look at New Braunfels Tube Chute, you'll see what we're talking about. So one thing to remember with Prince Psalms Park is that it's about, what, $2 to get in to float the river, which is very inexpensive, super inexpensive, and it's totally worth it. The only, I guess I would say, con that I would bring to you, or like forewarning, I would tell you, at Prince Psalms Park is you do have to pay for parking. Um, parking is $20. Well, it just depends on your, yeah, what time you go. But, you know, it's pretty pricey, $20. Although, if you carpool, you have a bunch of people in your car, y'all can split that. So it's still totally worth it and still very inexpensive, in my opinion, versus going out to, like, Schlitterbahn or, like, 
uh, Kalahari Resort, which is kind of near uh, Round Rock, Austin area, you can still experience um, the water and recreation places here in New Braunfels at an affordable price. Yeah, nobody likes to pay for parking, but it is what it is, right? So just have to forewarn you on, forewarn you on that. Prince Psalms Park is one of the places you can gain access to the tube chute. You can start your tubing adventure. So yeah, make sure when you're on the river, you're following the river rules. So another park you can start your tubing adventure at is going to be Hinman Island Park. Mm -hmm. So Hinman Island Park is a 10 acre park. It's right next to Prince Psalms Park. It's a little bit above the shoot. So if you want to experience a little bit of calm before you go down that rapid shoot, Hinman Park is the place to be. And to start off. So if you're like me where, I mean, I love floating the river for like a small period of time just because honestly, I just can't stay in a tube for that long because maybe I have ADHD or I'm just like, I need to go pee or something. So. Sorry, but it's true. Um, Hinman uh, Island, there's some steps that you can take. Um, you can either jump in. It's not too deep, right? Um, but it's deep enough for you to jump in, or you can go out through the steps, and then it takes you right to the chute. And you do the chute, and you can come back out and do it all over again. So to me, that's fun. We do that with the kids. We go in, take the chute, come back out. You can float the entire river. I just, yeah. I just don't like to float the entire river. <laughs> I don't know if there's something wrong with me. Most people come to New Braunfels to float the entire river. And one day I will mark it off my bucket list, but I just like to float parts of the river. Yeah, that's definitely pretty fun. The other thing that Hammond Island has, there is tons of picnicking areas. Yes. If you want to barbecue, they have barbecue pits built in. There's a lot of picnic tables there. It's right across from the golf course too. So, you know, definitely you want to start off your tubing adventure with a little barbecue, a little meal, a little picnic. Hinman Island is a place to start your tubing adventure. And number five, Cypress Bend Park. Cypress Bend Park, again, is over 16 acres. It's a moderate-sized park here in New Braunfels, Texas. The thing I really like about Cypress Bend Park is just all the wide open spaces there. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to get into the river, it's not so fast. It's not so deep. You're talking about like Hinman Island or... Prince Psalms Park, it's it's pretty much just a walk in and mm -hmm. you can wade in and it's very, very nice. It's very, very calm. Yeah, Cypress Bend Park's uh, one of, I mean, all the parks are awesome, but it's one of my favorite places to go to when I need to experience nature, need to experience calming. I literally will just, I mean, and, and also it's a free park to get in. Um, you can bring your dogs, you can bring your kids, and like he mentioned before, it gradually, gradually go in kind of very similar to a beachfront. Mm -hmm. But not getting all the sea foam and then it can get deep so be careful and then the cur it's still calm but sometimes the current can pick up so i always say kids should always wear life jackets just because that's just a safety thing we try to implement with the kids even though sometimes our 15 year old boy don't want to listen but you know um it's one of the my places to go and just experience nature and just get my feet wet and experience the sunshine on my skin and it's just very calming all right guys so that is almost the end of our list <clears throat> i want to talk about one more park it's a bonus for all my skaters out there that's right it's the jaws skate park the ernest eichel park it is the only professionally designed skate park in the city there's different levels, you know, if you're a pro skater, if you're just a noob, you're just starting off, there's different levels, different areas within the park where you could, you know, hone your skills. But yes, it is the only professionally designed skate park in New Braunfels. If you're into skating, you definitely want to check that out. And I had no idea we had a skate park here in New Braunfels until Chase said, hey, let's go to the skate park. I was like, we have a skate park. So I feel like it's easy access from IH35. Um, now, like, I cannot ride a skateboard. But I do have rollerblades, so I'm definitely gonna go out there with the kids and try to rollerblade on the beginner level. And we do have a skateboard. I'll uh, let you know our, our kids play with it, but you won't catch me on a skateboard. <laughs> All right, guys. So that completes our list. We talked about the five parks plus one bonus park for all my skaters out there. If you feel like we missed anything, if there's any other parks in New Braunfels that you really love, make sure you comment down below and you let us know all about it. Love seeing content like this. You want to continue to see content like this. Make sure you subscribe. You hit that notification bell. You do all the normal YouTube things. But if you really love this video and you really love just, you just want to get on that skate park. You want to go to Jaw Skate Park and just rip it up. What do you have to do? 
guys, you have to call us, text us, or email us. We answer our phones all the time, and we're going to guarantee that you're going to live your best life here in New Braunfels or San Antonio. We have y'all's back. That's right, guys. Until next time. Bye. Bye.